The world's eyes are here, in Qatar, to see the best football on the planet. The World Cup is sport in its purest form. A global community across languages and cultures. It's a beautiful vision for the beautiful game. And yet, this celebration has a dark side. While Qatar has built amazing stadiums, beautiful monuments to the beautiful game, allegations of human rights abuses have taken center stage. It's widely reported that these incredible stadiums caused the deaths of dozens of migrant workers. And even before the World Cup, life for some Christians in this part of the world was hard. To be, to be sure, sure, Qatar has allowed foreign Christians to flourish. And many believers there worship without fear. The church in Qatar is a vision of the global body of Christ, worshiping Jesus in a place where his name has been lifted for more than 1,500 years. We are thankful to God to have this opportunity for the thousands of Christians that are living and working in Qatar, and they have the opportunity to meet with their needs, uh, social needs, spiritual needs, and education needs for their children. So this is first an achievement that we can thank our Lord Jesus Christ, and of course, the generosity of the local authorities, His Highness the Amir, the Father and the government that they have facilitated to have uh, these buildings and to work and to function according uh, to the needs of our uh, Christians here in, uh, in Qatar. We even pray daily with this nation, with all the leaders of this nation, especially His Highness Sikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, and we pray for more years to live, uh, the, uh, the father of the emir and the mother of the, the emir, he, Sheikh Hamad Al Thani and uh, Sheikh Amos Al Misnad, and all the royal families, we are praying. We love this nation. We love them. We truly love them. And uh, there is always a great opportunity for the Christian to do our uh, ministry here. But that's not the only reality for Christians in Qatar, because while some believers are able to worship, Qatari believers are far from free. If a Qatari wants to become a Christian, they often risk everything. Conversion from Islam is illegal, and following Jesus can cost everything. We need prayer first for the people, the nationals living here. And it's too difficult when you are financially good is to look and search for God. But God is doing miracles on this land. I can witness over years and years, God is visiting in dreams without any missionaries coming to this land. And because of the fear of the people, they cannot share the gospel openly. But the World Cup is an opportunity to show our sisters and brothers in Qatar that they are not alone. Whether they are Qatari or from elsewhere around the world, they are part of a global family that's more beautiful than any game could be. So this year, as the world's eyes turn to Qatar, stand with them. Remind them they aren't alone, because in Jesus, we are one church and one family.